continue with King's Quest 2 now. And we're going to continue on. We have a mission to retrieve a nightingale from the evil Hagatha's cave. So let's look at thing, look at the cave here and Unless see what we can do mistaken, here. The symbol above the cave bears a striking similarity to a bat. A mm -hmm. shiver runs down your spine as you look at it. It's almost as if some dark force were radiating from it. All right, let's see what happens when I try to enter the cave. That's what happens. You see what happens, guys? You saw black glow. You did not slow. Turned not away. You've had your day. Restore our game. This time, let's do it right. Now, it is a human skull with large eye sockets. Let's look at this one here. It is a human skull with a radiant blue stone wedged into its eye socket. Now let's examine, see what we can do to maybe disable the security system. So. You feel the weight of your ancient weapon. It's amazingly mm -hmm. light and cool to the touch. It may be just your imagination, but you think you can feel something radiating from it, like the presence of the many kings who have held it throughout the long centuries before you. Okay, let's see if we can exam if we can remove it. You feel examine. It. Now I can't do anything about that right now. Can you I feel put the rejuvenating energy. Can I put the stone he um, here? As you attempt to place the birth gem into the skull, you discover that it does not fit properly. Instead, it juts out uselessly like a bulging eyeball. Okay, let's examine it. The wow. birth gem protrudes from the skull like a bulging eyeball. You'll somehow need to push it in further. All right, I have an idea. Let's use... It is a simple clay bowl. Where did I get that from? Being just an empty bowl, it holds nothing of importance. All right, let's use the mallet. Hammer it in. Hammer time! You gently tap the birth gem with the mallet, hoping okay. not to break it. It budges only slightly. You hmm. give it a harder hit. It moves a bit more. You hold your breath and give the gem an almighty thwack. It pops into the skull. What happens? Let's see, look at that. Look at it now. Uh, save our progress. Uh, skull gar. Skull. Um, skull eye. Look at it now. All right, the there it is. The gem is now fully inside this skull's <clears throat> eye socket. All right. Now what? Unless you are mistaken, the symbol above the... Okay. Let's look at the other one. It okay. is a human skull with a radiant blue stone wedged into its eye socket. All right. You can't see a thing past the cave entrance. Judging from the smell wafting out of it, you're not sure that you want to. All right, guys, I'm going into the cave. Nowhere else to go but within the mo inmost cave as Joseph Campbell said in his books. Ah. Not a good you idea. You saw black glow. You did not slow. Turn. Yeah, that's obviously not what I need to do. What do I do now? Maybe if I could turn it. Adjust it. As you Aha! The towards the image of the bat above the cave. Yeah, that's what I need to do. That its wing has faded slightly. However, you suspect that whatever danger the bat represents is still in effect. Okay, let's call it Skull Eye Beam. What happens when I go in? That still happens. Learning experience. Alright, now I know what to do. So just this skull. You turn the rightmost skull. Okay. So this is the bat symbol of exactly. the entrance. The power of the two skulls uh -huh. has caused the bat symbol to disappear. You sense whatever danger it represented has now subsided.
and save it. Agatha's uh, cave, cave uh, skull. Um, I see, caves safe. Replace it. The rock pile looks like an inconspicuous place to ponder. A searing beam of blue light streams of from the skull's eye socket and concentrates itself on the bat symbol above the cave entrance. Look at it the one more time. Of the two skulls combined has caused the bat symbol to disappear. You sense whatever danger it represented has now subsided. Nice. All right, now we can go in. Enter. Oh my goodness. As you enter, you are almost overwhelmed by the foul stench which molests your nostrils. Ooh, it is obviously coming from whatever Hagatha is cooking in that large what cauldron doing? of hers. There are some things of interest on the other side of the cave, but you have no means of crossing over there safely at this time. A caged nightingale sits on the floor near the northern cave wall. The light right. from outside barely penetrates the interior of this cave. So long right. as you keep your distance, Hagatha shouldn't notice you. I gotta keep quiet. It's uh, s replace it with Hagatha. Hagatha, replace. This is the ugliest old Ugh. lady you have ever seen. She has warts all over her face and matted gray hair. She clasps her stick with claw like hands. Okay. A simple but elegant black cloak hangs on a stand. All right. What's this here? It is a crystal ball. Fairly standard equipment for those of the magical persuasion. Okay. What do I have to when I grab it? Unfortunately, you are not versed in the skills for operating one of these. All right. What's that? A glass dome, semi-spherical in shape, sits on the table. It reminds you of a shakable snow dome toy that you once owned as a child. All right. What's Large, this? Large, heavy logs have been piled near the workbench. Obviously, they are used to fuel the insatiable fire. All right. The brew in the iron cauldron is a sickly yellow color. Hot steam rises from it. The odor is almost unbearable. You believe it to be a broth made from human Ugh. flesh and bone. She's a cannibal. A gilded cage sits to one side of the cave. A beautiful nightingale flits nervously inside. The cage is locked and chained securely to the wall. Oh, no. The skulls probably belong to unfortunate travelers who fell into Hagatha's clutches. Apparently, she is not a vegetarian. Most obvious. You Most hear Hagatha begin a chant of some kind while stirring her brew. Okay. The fluid of blood with bone and flesh. Ugh. It will make my complexion young and fresh. Ooh, that's her plan. Inducing time to reverse its sale. All I need is a sweet nightingale. What happens if I push her? To oh. your horror, you realize that your attempted push the witch into the cauldron strategy has achieved nothing more than garnering her undivided attention. Uh oh. You are the gentleman. Saving me a lot of trouble by coming here. Oh, what's he do to me? Ah! Did you really think that tactic was going to work a second time? I was a fool. I had to. I had to try it. All right, this time, do something actually uh, useful. Ah! What can I do? What can I do? Hmm. Can I just slaughter with a sword? When it comes to might versus magic, all bets are on the ladder. Okay. Maybe not. Hmm. Magic. What does necklace? Tabitha probably can't see well enough for the pendant to be effective on her as a hypnotizing charm. All right. What am I supposed to do right now? Hmm. 
Whew. You can't use that there. Large, heavy logs have been piled near the workbench. And a starter? The cauldron's fire does not need further wood at this time. And you aren't really a contender for the Kalima annual caber toss. Ah, uh, can I just sneak over and get the nightingale? Uh-oh, Agatha has seen you. Uh-oh. Well, you are the gentleman. Indeed. Saving me a lot of trouble by coming here. Mm-hmm. You wandered into the witch's lair, and where you stood gave not a... All right. What am I supposed to do with her? Can this brooch work? Now, wouldn't seeing that improve her disposition? Now, wouldn't seeing that improve her disposition? Now, wouldn't seeing that improve her disposition? It is a crystal ball. Can I smash it? There is no reason to use a mallet just now. Okay, okay. Net, can I net her? That would only serve to anger her. Alright. Hmm. Let's try everything. Just try everything. Alright. Try the bowl. Keep it to yourself. Alright. Uh, let's try uh, the pin. If you could get close enough to prick her, you'd have only garnered her most unwanted attention. Alright. Let's try the feather. It's highly doubtful that she's ticklish. Alright. Let's try the cloth. She hasn't got a cold, and what she does have can't be wiped away. All right. Uh, we try the that. Uh, try the library card. To yourself. All right. Uh, let's try something else. Um, try the mallet. The mallet is too cumbersome to make an effective weapon. All right. Try the earrings. Keep it to yourself. Okay. Um, uh, wooden stake. If you could get close enough to stab her, you'd have only garnered her most unwanted attention. Uh, lemon. Try the lemon. Keep it to yourself. Okay, uh, wow. My options have really been eliminated here. A gilded cage sits to one side of the cave. A beautiful <sighs> nightingale flits nervously inside. The cage what am I supposed is locked to do? and chained securely to the wall. Can I grab the cape? You need to get closer. Okay. Careful. Inducing time to reverse its fate. This is certainly a for you. You need to get closer. The cape. That's the key. All I need is a sweet nightingale. You need to get closer. All right, careful, guys. Careful. Let's get the you cape. You need to get closer. Uh -oh. Ah! Hagatha ah! Shoot! Well, you are the gentleman, saving me a lot of trouble by coming here. Oh, great! You wandered into the witch's lair, and where you? This time, get it, and without getting caught. Can I get the? Can I get a this? A stab in the dark, a stab in the light, same effect. Okay. Brandishing your sword might make you appear an accomplished fighter, but you will not make many friends by being careless with it. Besides, it's valuable. Take care of it. Okay. Okay. Um, I know there's a way. If that cape is that is the secret of getting. What I need to get. Ah! You need to get closer. Very closer, but not too close. You need to get closer. You hear Agatha begin a chant of some kind while stirring her brew. Okay, we get already. The fluid of blood with you need to get clo flesh. Closer. Get the cape! As quiet as a mouse, yes! Yes! Slide your hand inside the cloak to discover a deep pocket. Amongst sticky and disgusting Ugh. spell ingredients, you find a tiny silver key and a peculiar golden ring-shaped device. 
that will make my complexion young and fresh. Well, what happens if I use the ring? This odd circular device intrigues you. It depicts several different symbols around its outer rim. The sun, a mountain range, a drop of water, and a cloud. Okay, what happens if I use it right now? The golden object is very light and seems to be made of pure gold. The symbols that adorn it appear to have been chiseled in with incredible skill. What happens if I look at it? This odd circular device intrigues you. It depicts several different symbols around its outer rim. The sun, a mountain range, a drop of water, and a cloud. Okay. The golden object The golden object is very light. Okay, let's use it. Let's see if I can use the golden object. This odd circular device in Alright, let's look at the key then. Alright, uh save our progress. Uh Uh, ring and key. Ring and key. Inducing time to reverse itself. A simple but elegant black cloak hangs on a stand. Can I grab the coat? There's nothing else inside the cloak except for disgusting spell ingredients, none of which you want. Okay, okay. Well, how am I supposed to use the key then? The key would fit a small lock. Alright. Oh my goodness, what am I supposed to do here? Uh get out of here. You can't leave now. You may never get another chance to obtain the nightingale. Alright, well how am I supposed to get the nightingale? That witch is in the way. into the witch's lair and uh-oh Hagatha has seen you no well, you are the gentleman saving me a lot oh, of boy. by coming here you wandered into the witch's lair and where you what if I happen if I use the key on this uh, lock right now what will happen you need to get closer. Uh oh, Hagatha has seen you. Ah, crap. Well, you are the gentleman. Yes, I am a gentleman. Me a lot of trouble by coming here. All right. We gotta try it from the top. <coughs> you wandered into the witch's lair, and where you stood gave. Give us Hagatha, but this time get the things and just keep going. Don't waste time. You need to get closer. You need to get closer. Being as quiet as a mouse, you slide your hand inside okay. the cloak to discover a deep pocket. Amongst sticky and disgusting yes, smell ingredients, you find a tiny silver key and a peculiar golden ring-shaped device. All right, save a progress. Ring and key. Replace and obtain the key. And we're going to unlock the nightingale. You need to get closer. You the need to get closer. How am I supposed to get closer? You can't. You need to get closer. The witch is over there. How can I get closer? You need to get closer. If only I could distract her. Inducing time you need to, to get closer. Oh my god, how am I supposed to get the key? How am I supposed to get the nightingale? You slide the silver oh. key into the lock. It fits. You turn it silently, and the chain falls to the ground. Can I actually do it? Get it! Get the nightingale! Uh oh, Hagatha has seen you. Nice. You are the gentleman. Great. Saving me a lot of trouble by coming here. That's what happens, guys. You gotta think carefully here. 
Ask the bird to be quiet next time. Okay. That's what you do, guys. Ask the bird first. All right. You hear Agatha begin a chant of some kind while stirring her brew. Okay. This time, get the key. Get the key. You unlock need to get closer. Careful. Will make my complexion young you and slide the silver All right. key into the lock. It fits. You turn it silently, and the chain falls to the ground. Silently. No noise. Save our progress as... Uh, replace as... <clears throat> chain unlocked. Now. We gotta cover up the bird with something, but what, what do we cover it up with? The tissue? The, the napkin? You silently drop the cloth over the cage. Okay, calm up, calm down the cage. Inducing time. Grab the Without bird. Without making a sound, you take the nightingale into your possession. Oh yes. Let's go. Uh oh. Ah, shoot. She got me. You are the gentleman, saving me a lot of trouble by coming here. Man, damn it. You wandered into the witch's lair, and where you stood gave not a care. Yeah. She soon saw you, a smile she gave. Your flesh, your, your blood, blood, your bones, bones she, she craved. craved. All right, this time, go very carefully, will ya? You silently drop the cloth over the cage. All right. Grab the bird. Without making a sound, you take the nightingale into your possession. Save your progress as cloth cage, cloth cage, replace. Inducing time to reverse its sale. Be very careful. Don't move too fast. All I need is a sweet nightingale. Uh oh, Hagatha has. No, seen I just got out of here. You are ah. saving me a lot of trouble by coming here. I gotta get out of here. He got, she got me. You wandered into the witch's lair, and where you stood. All right. Inducing time to reverse its sail. All I need is a sweet nightingale. Get out of here. Whoo! Grab it, grab it. You cannot remove the birth gem while the blue light is streaming from it. If you want to dislodge it, you'll have to use force. Use the force, Luke, the force. Smash it. Bam. You strike the skull with all your strength and it shatters easily. The birth gem clatters to the ground along with a multitude of bone fragments. Get the birth gem. You reacquire the birth gem. Yes. And smash the other skull. You have no reason to shatter the skull. All right. Save as prog. Save progress. Cloth cage. We replaced it, and we have accomplished our mission halfway. The cage still has a cloth draped over it. Let's go, quickly. Today's gaming video is brought to you by Rule Your Bitcoin. Sign up today and get $5 to invest with. Mogo Crypto is the easiest way to buy and sell Bitcoin in Canada. Try it out with a free $5 on us. Mogo Crypto!